So now I'm going to do a grand reveal. One, two. Hey everyone, it's me Aiko. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we'll be doing something very exciting. Na isa siya sa decision na sobrang pinag-isipan ko. At alam kong dadalhin ko siya at ihaharap ko siya buong buhay ko. So if you wanna know kung ano ito, keep on watching. So for today, I'll be going for an eyebrow embroidery. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you some clips ng procedure. Then I'll answer some most commonly asked questions about this. Like, kung masakit ba, gano'n ba katagal yung procedure, gano'n ba katagal, tinatagal niya. After care, before and after videos, then healing process. So, if you wanna know, stay tuned and let's go. For us girls, I know naman most of us will take at least 5 to 10 minutes para lang ayusin yung kilay mo. Well, eyebrows, frames, or face, it gives character din sa face natin. Plus, if you're doing your makeup, you can just focus on the other part of your face, less na yung eyebrows. So now I'm going to do a grand reveal. One, two. So this is how it looks like after the embroidery. Pero maga fade pa siya, don't worry. Hey everyone, I'm back after the procedure. So this is the ninth day after the embroidery. So here, makita nyo na nag-start na siya mag fade. Then sa ibang part ay nagpipil pa rin siya. So let's talk about the procedure. Actually, there are three types na eyebrow surfaces na in offer: microblading, microshading, then ombre. For microblading, they use as like a hair made strokes dun sa brows nyo. So parang magdadraw sila ng lines dun sa brows nyo. This is the most natural looking. Then for the ombre, magagawa lang sila ng powder-like technique na kung saan isushade nila yung brows nyo. So this will last till the longest, like a year or two. Then for the micro-shading, combination siya. Like hair made strokes dun sa front, then dun sa tail is like ombre. 
na magsha-shade sila. For me, I did yung ombre. Yun yung sinadjust nila after examining my skin. Actually, binibase din nila yun sa skin type mo, combination ba yung skin mo, oily ba. Tapos titignan din nila yung brows nyo. So, for the procedure, after cleaning my brows, I started shaping na. All this time, ngayon ko lang to nalaman. Actually, tinanong ko siya habang siya ginagawa siya. So, they use a specialized ruler para i-measure yung brows nyo. Pero here, papakita ko lang sa inyo dito kung basically, paano nila ginagawa. So, this is how they measure the starting of your brows. For the start of your arc, it's from the side of your iris or the colored part of your eyes. Then, for the tails, it's from here to here to the end. Your brows should be aligned together. After eyebrow mapping, nilagay na nila yung numbing cream. So, I waited for 15 minutes. Then, after that, nag-start na yung embroidery. Kung tatanungin nyo kung masakit ba yung procedure, hindi, hindi, hindi siya masakit. The whole procedure took for 2 hours. So, pinakamatagal dun, siya, dun sa pag-shade o yung eyebrow mapping. For the first 24 hours, hindi siya pwedeng basain. And then, they will give you aftercare cream na ilalagay nyo siya for 2 times a day. In 3 months, you are required to go back for a touch-up. So, dito sa touch-up, if you feel lang nila, tapos kung okay ba yung color, yung shape. For the price, nakuba ko siya ng promo. So, $268. Pero ang average niya ay nasa 10,000 to 20,000 pesos. For the healing process, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung from day 1 hanggang day 14. Na kung saan, completely healed na siya. So here, makukumpare nyo. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing by hitting the red button down there as well as the bell button below so you're notified every time I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye!